Okay, so I'm back in uh, back in the woodland just here, and I've come back again with a view to capturing one image, which I believe I missed last time I was here. And I'm watching the video I created uh, in my previous upload from here. I saw an image on the video which I thought, oh, I should have captured that. So I've come back here now, and uh, it's a Friday evening, and I'm hoping I'm going to be able to capture this image just as the sun sets there behind the trees. So I've got one image planned for tonight. Um, I'll probably take more than one, like I always do, but I'll just have a look around. It's uh, a fantastic location with the, the trees there and the sun setting behind it. So I'm going to have a, a look around now with the hope to capturing some uh, the image I've got in my mind. It's, uh, it's the hottest day of the year, I think, today. 28, 29 degrees. It's uh, very stuffy and close. T-shirt weather, you might say. And shorts. So um, hopefully the midges will keep away from me for a while and I can have a good, uh, good shot at taking this image. This little scene here where you've got the, the sunlight coming in through the trees here and hitting this large redwood tree it's making for a quite an appealing scene to me and I think with the mixture of the texture of the tree and the light and the green branch hanging down in the foreground it should make for quite an appealing image perhaps a, a nice colour image but also a black and white image with the texture on the, on the, um, the tree there so we're going to take a shot here I've got an L bracket now for the uh, the camera, so it's making these portrait orientation shots a lot easier. So what I'm doing now is um, I've just composed the scene with the branch with the green leaves on it at my top two thirds section. I'm on manual mode with the uh, the camera there, and I'm 1.9 stops underexposed at the minute. I'm using a spot metering on the, the bark there, so you can, obviously there's lots of bright and dark places here, so I'm just going to take that image, F22 1.4 of a second, at ISO 100. Yeah, there's a little bit of movement in the branches, but the texture of that trunk is what I'm interested in really. That's the real uh, fascination with this particular shot. I think there's a, a lot of potential for this type of an image. I'll just also have a look at what it looks like in the pot in the landscape orientation. And I'll take that as well. I've got a two second uh, self timer on here just to take any potential shake away from the camera. And there's a very light breeze at the minute, which is just blowing those trees and uh, those leaves on the branch there. So at f1 point, uh, f22 and f1.4 of a second, you're obviously getting quite a bit of quite a bit of movement there. I'm going to go for a longer exposure time now, four seconds, or five seconds, uh, F32. Just to play around with a bit more, a bit more detail in the sky there. A bit more detail in the, the leaves, sorry. Sky, what you on about lad? Right. Oh, look at that. I'm being bitten. I'm suffering for my art tonight. I'm 
that's for sure. Okay. So I'm going to leave that there, uh, that shot there, and I'm going to move on to somewhere else now. Um, just waiting a little bit of time while the sun there moves a bit lower down, just to illuminate my uh, tree branches there, what I'd like to shoot. But I think before, I've got a good 10 or 15 minutes, 20 minutes maybe before that happens. So I think what I'll do is I'll probably just walk down to the viewpoint now and see how that's looking. So this is the image uh, I saw last time in the previous video where the sun's illuminating these leaves on the trees. So I'm in position now at the, the top of this little crest of, in the woodland where the, uh, the sun's setting behind me there over the Langdale Pikes. And we've got this bank of trees here which uh, I just want to be able to try and capture these with the power of the backlight, the low down warm light, which is going to hopefully illuminate these leaves on this tree. So I'm going for one second exposure at F32. And I want a maximum depth of field on this shot and this is a 90mm lens so uh, a a larger aperture will uh, a larger aperture number will help me here okay so i'm shooting directly into the sun here and the sun is it's about an inch and a half off setting behind the langdale pikes so what's that about 20 minutes or something and if you can block the sun out with your hand there you can see these lovely light in the in the foreground here so I'm what I'm doing at this moment is I've got no fil no filter on here and I've exposed it as such that I'm going to rely on the, the technical ability of this camera to pull back lift up the shadows yeah so you think it's the same problem as I had last time when you're shooting into the sun here you've got a lot of flare across the lens and obviously the the lens hood lens hood doesn't help in this situation it's a beautiful scene though okay and again I'm going to be shooting directly into the sun but I'm doing that with I'm shooting directly into the sun but I'm using the branches and the leaves on the trees to diffuse it a little bit. I'm going for that strong backlit effect on the leaves. Just take a couple of different shots at different uh, aperture values there for depth of field. Okay I'm going to move on now. Looking directly into the sun here, but I've got um, I've got these branches in the I've got the branches in the foreground here, what are uh, diffusing the light a little bit. So hopefully that'll that'll balance the scene out a little bit more and add a bit of a dramatic effect.
So I'm just experimenting really with uh, different types of shots. I'm going to leave it uh, for a minute here now and I'm just going to have a look further down the path there where we go into a bit more denser woodland and see what I can see from there. See I'm just come across this little cluster of trees here and I'm pretty certain there's got to be an image what will be achievable from here if you can try and arrange them all so that they're not intersecting with one another maybe so I might set up and see if I can achieve that so this is uh, this little scene here what I've found quite appealing with the uh, the shaft of lights coming through here and hitting this small tree silver birch I think it is or maybe not so I'm going to get out of the way so not to get my shadow in the in the image there and we'll see how that looks yeah quite got that quite pleased with that okay so I'm looking at this scene here between the trees and I'm just set up here and uh, I'm taking a couple of shots just with different exposure values so that I can blend the two together so this is the image for this is the image where I've exposed for the foreground and that's the image where I've exposed for the sky and the image I'll put on screen now will be the combination of both of them So great to be in the woodland again and uh, interesting to see again the same scene what I've been coming to for years but it's really nice to uh, to be able to capture it again and uh, look at it in different different eyes really. I think I'm just really forcing myself to try and do something different tonight. Um, going to a different location, different view. Yes it's the same place but I'm just trying different angles and I think that's uh, quite an interesting challenge really, looking at the different perspectives. Um, I've got a 70mm lens on the camera there and it's, uh, it challenges you, whereas I prefer wide angle typically for landscapes, but since I've got this camera it's, uh, it's changing my approach really and that's good for the better. So I think I'll leave it there for now, I might just have a, continue to have a little wander around. Um, but I suspect from what I wanted to capture tonight I've, uh, I think there's an owl just flown past there uh, so what I wanted to capture tonight I've achieved so let's see if it all comes together quite nicely and uh, see how things go from here thanks for watching all the best bye bye Some of the best uh, light can happen after the sun's disappeared. It would appear.